Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am here at the Vapco Proving Grounds in Chennai to drive a Swift. Yeah, that's right, a Swift. It says competitor. No, it is for the tires actually, not for a vehicle. Anyway, so we are going to be testing Michelin XM2 Plus tires, Energy XM2 Plus tires. Those are shot with Michelin tires. This is shot with competitor tires, the Bridgestones, of course. And uh, you can see those are shot with Michelin tires. Now the variant is a bit different because that happens to be a ZDI. This happens to be a VDI. But what we are going to be doing, we are going to be doing wet braking test to see how much is the difference between both the tires. So what are we waiting for? Let's get going right away. You're going to tell me when to break, or I well, I can tell you when to break. Maybe it'll make things easier <laughs> yeah. and more precise. So all you do is now accelerate to 100 kilometers an hour. All right. Keep the car stable. Hmm. Once you get into the cones, don't break. There are two big red cones. I'll tell you when to break. Is that okay with you? All right, done. Great, let's go. You just short break, okay? Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oops. Yes, I'm on hundred. Okay. Break. All right, we stopped pretty early, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think you were. Uh, the speed was not hundred. It, it was. It was hundred. It was. 100. Were you in third gear? I was in fifth gear. Fifth gear, is it? Yes. I think the speed drop. You have to watch the speed because uh, when you take your leg off, uh, it will drop speed very quickly. I uh, think we braked at eighty. No, no, we braked at hundred. I can verify with the camera. Okay, so great, my camera is rolling for that very reason. Oh, great. Yeah. So, but you remember where you stopped, right? Yes. So I keep know. that reference so you can compare between the two. Yeah, definitely. So, why did uh, you guys choose the Swift for this test? No, because they have a range of tires sizes yeah. in this range. So, one of them and the popular in the market is the Swift. Yeah, because this is not uh, Swift. Actually, comes with 15 inches for the higher variants, right? Yes, yes. This is but running in the taxi a segment. This is very popular in India. They okay. Have size of 14 inch rims and. All stuff. right. So it sells in huge numbers. But some of the cars, like this is a VDI, that's a ZDI. So there's a difference there. So that car is actually tuned for 15 inch tires. That car actually comes stock with 15 inches, right? Exactly. So that car the exact actually. Model, the Z trims uh, come with 15 the, inches as standard. Yeah, but the thing is that the car is exactly hmm. the same. Yeah. Same suspension, same steering, hmm. same chassis. So it keeps the base same. Hmm. It's only the tires that change. All right. Yeah. Let's go again? Okay? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Now we are in at 100 shop shift. Great. And we are at 100. Yeah, keep 100, just keep watching the speed. Yeah. Okay. And break. Ah, I think I stopped at the point where you stopped last time. Yeah, exactly there. Lot of uh, ABS pulsating also. Yeah. So now what do we do? We stop and swap cars? Yeah, we'll go there and we'll swap cars. There we'll at the start there. point? Yeah, yeah, we'll go to the start point. All right. So, whatever you did now, yeah. I want you to do exactly the same in the other car okay. with your own references. It doesn't matter. All it's right. not important to be precise, hmm. but your same reference. So, this car is having worn out tyres? Both are. Both are worn out tyres. Yeah. So, what, how do you define worn out tyres? So, like I mentioned to the TWI, that is the tyre wear indicator mark. Okay. So, these tyres have been worn out by Michelin in a lap to the tyre wear indicator mark. All right. Just to simulate, hmm. if you were to run these cars all until the end of life, okay, where the, they would stand. All right. So it's easy to do new tires because hmm. they're always performing well straight out yeah. of the factory. And then, so when you do end life, you hmm. can extrapolate and understand anywhere in between. So the cars which we are going to be driving ahead of this, the yeah. other other section, those yeah. are having new tires. Those are having brand new, fresh tires. All right. So you have an experience of how the car behaves in all aspects. All right. So now I can't say much because honestly, like. In terms of reference, once we yeah. drive that Only car. Only after you drive the other yeah. car, we yeah. have. So I want you to carry the experience mm -hmm. to the other car and yeah. see what you feel. All right, great. Okay. So that was aggressive braking, standing at 100 kilometers per hour on the Bridgestone B290 tires. Okay, the tire size happens to be a 185 70 14s. Uh, there was some amount of pulsating. These are worn out tires, you can see. The tread is, I'll actually show you the proper tread on the car as well. 
and they say worn out it is actually worn out so this is the condition of the tire or rather the condition of the tires isn't that great these are worn out tires now we're going to jump into the other car which happens to be shot with michelin tires yeah tire size is the same 18570 14s again these are worn out tires and uh, this happens to be the michelin energy xm2 the xm2s or rather sorry it's the xm2 plus the xm2 plus replaces the xm2 yeah that's right anyways let's get inside straight away Ready to go? Yeah. All right. Ready. Set to go. Yeah, I mean these tires feel a little bit more confident somehow. Mm -hmm. Somehow I feel less pulsating as well. Okay. But the engine feels slightly different from that one. I don't know why. This In one feels this one feels slightly more noisier. I don't know why. You could always go back to back and compare again. Yeah. yeah. Well, here the engine is only playing two roles: making mm. the same mass and mm. giving you the speed. Yes. So obviously, it doesn't matter in terms of dynamics and braking. But definitely in terms of tyres, uh, this felt a lot more confident on the brakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it one, once again, so you're, mm -hmm. you know, you have another run to feel everything. Yeah. Let's hold on. But you felt the difference. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And did you see the distance? Yeah, the distance. Yeah. How, how much was that? How much was that? <laughs> that was more than a car length. Okay. <laughs> Nearly a car length. That would have been about four meters. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. All right, let's go. Yeah. Can you help me with the braking yeah, by shouting sure. brake? Yeah, sure. Great. Go ahead. Just keep the speed to 100. Yes. Same as last time. Short shift to fifth. Yeah. Okay. fifth. Great. Brake. Actually, it. A little bit. But later. it doesn't matter. Do you notice hmm. something? Yeah. Wherever you braked from then to here, it's yeah. exactly the same. Yes, so yes. The distance you're doing is the same. For worn out tyres, definitely, I mean, there's a big difference between both the tyres. So the, 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 the Bridgestone was there? Yes. And what else did you feel different between the two cars in terms of uh, when you braked? Somehow I feel, I mean this remains more stable, okay. less judder. Okay. And uh, the, uh, obviously the braking distance is the major factor, yeah, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you're right, mm. because the reason you feel less judder in this mm. car is because the, the tyres have so much grip mm. that the ABS doesn't have to work so hard. Yeah. But in the other car, you can feel all the electronics trying to stop, stop, too, stop, Too stop. much of pulsating so in the other pulsating, one. you feel pulsating, you feel it going all the way inside. But mm. And also, in terms of brake stability, I didn't mm. want to mention it to you mm. earlier because I want you to feel it. Ah. But I felt that this car feels a lot more stable under mm. braking yes. than the other car. All right, yeah. Although it's exactly mm. the same car, mm. they are all of the same suspension spec, mm. same steering spec, no change. All right, yeah, thanks you a lot, check man. check the engine noise? Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. I think that is to do, like, Different cars, different noises, maybe even perception. So, as you saw right now, I applied full brakes at 100 km per hour with two cars having different tyres. One obviously having the Michelin Energy XM2 Plus. The braking distance was shorter and uh, the brakes just felt so much better. Both the cars are identical, but I think the variant is the difference here. But in terms of the tyre size, in terms of the engine, in terms of Almost everything, both of the cars are almost identical and uh, that is an asphalt where sprinklers have been put to make sure the whole condition is wet. You stand on the brakes, the composure just feels much better with the Michelin rubber but we are going to drive it on the dry right now so let's get going there with fresh tyres finally! Alright, we are all set to go which means turning off the air conditioning into first gear and here we are. So, what exactly are we doing right now? Well, so we're just going to be driving this car, the Swift, with brand new Michelin Energy XM2 tyres. Yeah, 2 plus actually. I always miss the plus. So, as you can see, grip levels are great and obviously the car is super composed. The Swift is a great handler without a doubt which means that handling is not an issue at all. Now, this is powered by a diesel engine, 1.3 litre diesel. 75 horsepower and 190 newton meters of torque. 
the tires off a good amount of grip like i mean there's good communication happening at the front especially with the steering wheel and the steering is also really very nice so definitely these tires feel a lot more grippier than the stock ones the stock ones like they kind of screech you know if you try to corner hard they screech actually that is the problem with the stock tires these feel so much better and just see the grip levels on offer definitely these tires are a step up from the original ones now the real usp of this tire happens to be the fact that they last for a lifetime yes lifetime of a car uh, okay michelin claims that it can last more than 1 lakh kilometers and has 30% more tire life compared to its competitor and the competitor which they are actually choosing to compare it with is bridgestone not seat not apollo not mrf none of the indian ones but bridgestone and bridgestone we know is a very reputed tire maker which shows the confidence of michelin in these tires because 30% more mileage 30% more mileage in the sense how many kilometers it goes not kilometers per liter but overall life of the tires is massive they say you know get these tires and forget about it you don't have to replace it in the replace it in the lifetime of the vehicle which is a great thing now these tires are obviously silica based so you know grip levels and overall reliability over a longer period of time is not an issue at all and when i drive this car i realize that you know grip levels are not a problem at all now earlier we obviously did that you know wet braking test with one or tires and they perform splendidly and the newer ones they perform even better yeah they definitely perform very well indeed i love the swift actually because the handling characteristic is really very nice but these tires actually cost 10 to 15% more than rivals so yeah they are on the expensive side but then well worth the money because you get tires which offer better grip they offer almost the same level of grip when they were new as well as when they were not but when tires actually worn out they become kind of slicks which actually is a good thing because you know formula 1 cars and race cars are driven on slicks and slick tires definitely offer better grip however only on smooth tarmac when the tarmac is not that good well you know the tires are not able to perform optimally but these tires they actually do a great job now we have a slalom ahead let's see how well this car is able to take them with these michelin tires so we are going to be in second gear there we are in second gear and here we go okay there is so much composure not an issue at all body roll is well contained in spite of the fact that this happens to be a diesel yeah that's right this is a diesel little bit of understeer but here we go and brakes show sure voted abs kicks in and that's all for today guys thank you so much for tuning into this video if you liked it you know what you should do give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye take care from chennai